Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the Helicon Groundhog Backpack. I got this from Military First. Their website is militaryfirst.com. It's military, then the number one, st.com, militaryfirst.com. And um, I, I've been looking at Helicon gear over probably the past year, but then I saw um, a bag that really intrigued me, which I have turned into my bushcraft bag. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. But um, as I was digging around on the Military First website, I saw this and thought, man, it's got some really cool features that stood out to me. And I have one particular feature on this pack that I think is just awesome. It's just great because it deals with an issue that I think a lot of people have with backpacks. So I'm going to readjust the camera so you can see the pack and we'll talk about some of the features, some of the functions. I'll show you what I've got in the pack as far as, you know, the capacity, what it can hold. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you a couple great features, but a particular one that I think just is, is top notch. So let's readjust the camera and take a look at the pack. So let me go through some of the features here. You've got an external pocket here and then the main section and then two basically pass throughs on the side. So we'll start on this front. Let me show you what I've got in here. We've got a pair of gloves and a hat. And then I threw a couple things down in this little mesh internal pocket. I've got a flashlight and some matches, but you can see Essentially, you've got this internal pocket in the front, extra storage in here, and depending on how much gear you have in here, this thing will expand out. So you can put you know, less gear in here, zip it up, and it's very sleek and compact, or more gear, and it's gonna stick out a bit. Now, another cool feature about this front is that down on the bottom, you unzip this, and you've got this section that you can basically pull out, and you've got four attachment points. So let me, let me uh, hook this thing up so you can actually see what it's like when it's all set up. So here's when it's out of the uh, bottom storage pocket and then one hook here, another hook up on the top, another hook on this side, and then one final hook that goes right on the side here. And now you've got a way to store extra gear. So if you got, say, a helmet, maybe you're, you're out mountain biking or something like that, you wanna put a helmet in here, you can do that and then cinch it down, you could throw any other gear that would basically, you know, you could put in here and then cinch it down to keep it compact. I think like a jacket, a windbreaker, anything like that. So the thing I really like about this, it's basically extra storage you can add on, but when you want to get rid of it, you pop those four little hooks off, put it back in the bottom of the pack and it's out of the way. It's not like it's taking up a ton of space. Okay, I'll flip to the back side here. You can see we do have um, some nice cushion here. No huge cutouts for airflow, which for me is fine for this pack because it's a 10 liter pack. It's not gonna take a ton of gear. So it shouldn't be too heavy. I shouldn't have a ton of weight. So this is plenty of airflow for me as I've carried the pack. Um, it's worked fine. You can see across the board here, things are sleek. We have some very sleek, trim um, straps they are contoured nicely but even the webbing is very thin that's going to reduce weight reduce weight across the entire pack you got a grab handle here on top obviously the straps they've got a little bit of padding there uh, you've got a sternum strap a little bit of elastic there so that's stretchy and then even down here on the bottom you do have a waist strap but again very minimalist so everything is sleek and slick um, again reducing weight making it a uh, a slim pack that's also lightweight all right, so the side of the pack has the, my favorite feature and also another really cool feature. So the first thing is that you've got some very small molly here so you can attach gear, and then you've got basically a pass-through. So if you want to put gear, like I've got this um, Matt Graham, new Matt Graham knife from Condor uh, Tool Knife, you can put that through. If you put it through this way, that little lip goes over, and then I can just cinch this strap down to uh, basically make sure that it doesn't fall out. A little bit hard to do in the cold weather here. So now you can see I've got this in here. You could put trekking poles in there, ski poles, other things like that. You wanna be careful if you put something like an ax, you're gonna have a long handle sticking down below. You wanna make sure it's covered up you know, properly. You're carrying it properly and safe. Um, but for smaller items like this, I think it's totally awesome to, uh, to be able to store them in there. They don't fit comfortably in the pack, but you can definitely put them here. All right, so let's talk about my favorite feature of this bag, which is that you're just gonna unclip this, uh, this strap to get it out of the way. And a lot of people when they see bags like this are like, that's cool, but where can I put my water bottle so I have easy access to it and I don't have to, I don't have to go into the main section of the bag. So you don't see anything here, but you unzip this and pull this little kind of mesh bag out and then you can see I've got a Nalgene here. Slide it into this section. There's a little uh, cinch here on the top so it's gonna make sure that it doesn't fall out. And then throw this piece of webbing, this strap around, clip it in cinch it down 
and now you've got a water bottle holder that if you want to use it, great. If you don't, you don't have to use it. So that I think is just a major, major win at this pack. A lot of people, when I, when I show them everyday carry or day hike packs, they're like, hey, where am I going to put my water bottle? It's either they're really big and kind of cumbersome, and if you don't use them, they're sticking out, or there's nothing at all. And this, I feel like, is a great solution to that. There is a cinch on the bottom, so if you, um, if you want to have something that you put here, again, that you wanted to pass through or something you want to store there, you could put, you know, maybe a set of gloves and cinch them down and keep them in this, uh, keep them in this pocket as well. So yeah, just a really, really cool feature. And there's this on both sides of the uh, pack. So obviously you can carry two water bottles. All right, we're gonna go into the main section of the pack here. So it unzips just down to the pass through section. So not the whole way down. Again, that's a preference thing. Some people like the clamshell that opens the whole way up. Um, it's kind of six in one, half dozen the other for me. Let me show you what I've gotten here just to show you some gear that you could store. This is my Exotac uh, EDC roll, but it's a gear roll for me. So there's one item. This is, uh, this is from uh, McNett Tactical. I think this is just like a travel, um, travel towel. I've got a uh, poncho in there. I've got a pretty large knife here. This is from Three Dog Knife. Got it from Northern Knives. This is the Amok. And then we've got also one of the big SOL utility blankets. And then I've got my little uh, VanQuest travel kit. So I think that's it for inside the pack. But that, I mean, just to show you here, I'll just lay it down without dumping it on the ground. It's quite a bit of gear in a very small pack. And then just to note up here on the top, you do have a clip so you can put a hydration bladder in here. And then there is a pass through so you can actually have the hose obviously come out of the top of the pack so you have access to the hydration bladder. So obviously you can see, I think this pack is a win. Um, it's all about how it's built and what it's built for. And if it's applied that way, I think it's just a really, it's nicely built and it does the job well. A, a day hike, EDC, that type of thing. It's not meant to be, you know, a 72 hour bag. It's just not built for that. But you know, the water bottle feature, the pass through feature, the storage. And I think, you know, just worth noting as far as the quality of the bag and my experience with it so far and the price, it's 55 bucks, basically $54.90 over at Military First. That's really reasonable, I think, for what you're getting. Um, Long-term use, I'll let you know, but I have had a handful of Helicon bags so far and I've not had any issues. Um, I don't have long-term use for any of those bags, um, but I haven't had stitches blow out or anything break on me. So um, if the style of the bag and the function of the bag works for you, I would encourage you to check this thing out. And thanks as always for checking out the videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.